that could be done, but just being here and seeing everybody together, this uh, is awesome. I just wish my kids was here to see this, you know, and partake and share in all of this, you know. But man, this is awesome. I so lonely up in Maui because there's only me and my kids that when I had the opportunity to come home, but I know I go back home. You know, this is what I miss. I don't have this about. I'm alone up there with just my kids and one grandchild. And it's it's lonely up there. So when I get to come home, I don't like go home. I'm going to go back Maui. So my kids were the ones that called and said, I cannot come home because they get money for buy me an air ticket to come back home. But then, Kahea's sister, Aloha, which is Auntie Oki's daughter, have offered to get me a ticket using her Aloha Hawaii miles. So I got a free flight home. Which not what happened to the 20th of this month. So I get to spend more time here with you. So I ended up taking the job. 
and, and yes, it was a pay cut. But since I've been there, it's been six months, God has blessed me abundantly. And when you guys think of abundance, everybody's going to think more, like I said earlier. It's, it's more, it's more, right? But it's more than just money, it's more than wealth, it's more than just that. It's, to me, it's been like health. I was so stressed out at my other job that I, I took it out, sometimes on my family, or just in general, I just took it out on everybody else. You know, I was walking around with like, like, why do I have to live this life, you know? And so, me going there helped me with my stress level, my, my stress level dropped. I was happier at work, I went to work loving life. You know, I, was, I woke up every day thinking, I drive from Y and I to town every day. And I enjoy it. I'm, I was happy. I'm like, I can't believe this. And before that, I drove to Wainai to Campbell. And, I mean, who would think that's a good life, right? Driving <laughs> further traffic. But I do it, and I, and I enjoy it. But ever since I've been there, God has blessed me, and God has keep blessing me. I started at a really low pay cut, and somehow the money never stopped. It actually was way more than, than I ever imagined. Um, I've now moved into a different position. I've only been there about six months. I'm now a parts manager there. I'm not boasting. I'm, I'm, I'm praising God for it because without Him, I mean, I never went to college. I hope everybody else is going to go to college, but I never went to college. I don't have, I couldn't spell in like sixth grade, seventh grade. I couldn't spell, I couldn't read. And uh, somebody gave me a Bible in church, and that's how I started to read. And But just what God's done for me back then, I mean, I'm sharing with my wife and a couple of my friends that, like a lot of us here, and I, I know I'm not like Kikoa, but I, you know, I've been with you guys for a long time, but my family, that some you know, is where I'm not old. And if you hear that name, you pretty much think failure. I mean, that's what you see. You see failure when you, when you hear that name. And even I do, you know, because that's all we've ever, ever been. We've just been failing. Every single one of us has failed in life. And I didn't want to fail my family, I didn't want to fail in life. So, you know, I took a different route and I wanted more. You know, I wanted to be successful. I wanted, you know, I wanted to be blessed. Living this abundant life that God has given us. He's given me a new child. I mean, we've been trying before and we couldn't have him. And we've had like, two miscarriages in between. And, and, and now, you know, we... It was a surprise, that's how we got his name, his middle name, and, and I'm just so thankful that he's actually blessed me with that. Um, before going to the new job, I know we were having him, so with the financial, it, it didn't look right, but God has never stopped blessing me. God's given me a new position. I am now the parts manager at where I work. I run a crew of my own, and, and God is blessing me above and beyond. Uh, I... We haven't been going to a steady church, so we haven't been paying our tithes. But we started, we committed to go to a church now. We started, we decided this is where we're going to go, so we started paying our tithes. I know, you know, if I'm preaching, forgive me, but we started paying our tithes. And with that alone, you know, we're taking steps and we're giving, we're giving back to God what He's given us. You know, if He can't get it through me, then He's not going to give it to me. So, you know, He's been giving it to me, so I need to give back to Him. And as we've been giving back to Him, Going into the manager's position, uh, I thought I was losing a certain pay or a, a certain thing that a incentive that they give us. But my owner came down to my office and sat with me. He's like, you know, I'm giving this to you. And I was like, oh, I thought it was getting taken away. So, you know, being obedient, first off, being obedient to go there, being obedient back to God for what he's giving me, and just being obedient in all things in life unto him. I mean, all of this is because of Him. I praise and thank Him for it. I give honor, glory, and praise unto Him. I like what that part says, that the second part of that verse, and that's why when Uncle Cordell said it, I was like, oh no, he took my part. But he says, you know, I come to give life, and life more abundantly. So if you're born again, you already have an abundant life. Just reach for it. He came here. You believe He came here for you. And he already said, I came. If God came here, there's abundant life waiting for you. Reach out and grab it. Don't let what your family has lived for for many years determine where you're going to go in life. Right. You can change anything you want to do. You just have to reach out for it and want it just as much as anybody else. Take ownership of it. That's what I tell all my guys at work. If you take ownership of your position, you'll own it and, and God's just going to bless you. So, yeah. thank you guys. Thank you so much for this time that we've had together just to honor you and to worship.
worship you, give you glory and honor and praise. Thank you for your plan, Lord. Your, your plan is so amazing. The plan to give us abundant life. That, that's what you want for us. And just like Daniel put it right here, we just have to reach for it. We have to make the choice to step into that abundant life that you've already planned for us. And so, Father, help us this year to, to remember that and to make that choice, to step into it and to grab, to reach for you, Father. Thank you for being so near, so close, so dear. We love you and we praise you. And now as we continue our day together, Father, continue to be with us as we have fun and uh, share in this abundant life. Yeah, you've given each one of us to this family. And so we thank you for putting us here, whether uh, by marriage, whether by friendship, whether uh, whatever the relationship may be, Father, you put us together for some reason. And we're so blessed to be together, to be one Ohana under the name Kikoa. Thank you so much, Father. We, we um, ask that you bless us now as we continue the day. We love you in your name. We pray in the name of Jesus. Everybody, let's say his name together. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.